Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's not a big haul unfortunately. Again, my stores are a little sparse but I'm hoping and I saw a lot of boxes so hopefully we will get some you know product in soon or at least some fall stuff. I've been kind of seeing them hint around about that. I've got some iced coffee which is actually the remainder of my hot coffee from breakfast. I've been busy today, I've got a lot of stuff going on, but I wanted to share this haul with you. So speaking of fall, I have decided on my fall colors. There's a candle behind me, I'm like, don't be cutting my hair on fire. Um, I'm going with this purple for fall this year, and then like a golden color. This. So this is going to be my colors for fall this year. Thought I would do something a little different. I've got some old tire decor that could use some spray paint. Um, I still have to find this kind of goldy metallic -y color spray paint. We'll see what I come up with, but I love all of these colors with that purple. So this is actually one of my inspirations. It was a necklace sent to me from Lane Bryant. Um, I don't think I would wear it as a necklace, but I'm definitely gonna use it on my mantle as like a, I don't know, you know, the beaded garland. I'm gonna lay it out like that, but it's kind of sparkly. I don't know, we'll see how it all turns out. So that's my, um, why don't you eat? I've got Luna, this is a treat. She has to let them marinate for a while before she'll eat them. Or if the cat comes near them, then she gobble, gobbles them down because, you know, the cats. She's ridiculous. But we love her. All right, let's get into this haul and I will share some things that I got. First and foremost, some boring stuff. I found some more of these scrubbers, which I absolutely love. And I'm throwing them. I love these scrubbers. Now I will tell you a little fun fact. These last for me, now I do a lot of hand washing of dishes because I'm a single lady. I eat all my meals at home. They last me about a week and a half. I have one that's a perfect cube that I got at Aldi for $2.29 or $2.99 that has lasted me almost a month. Take that for what it's worth, but I pick these up when I can see, when I see them because I love them. Um, I do have a couple pieces of decor, but we'll get there. Um, I picked up some pens. I love these Gelosity, just a black pen for my planner. And also for my planner, I got these metallic pens. Now these are new, I've not seen these at my store at least. And they write in a metallic ink. They are the color that's on there, seven millimeter, which is what I like. But what I love about these and I'm hoping these will do is I can write on black paper with these metallic inks for my planner. I'll have to bring that out and show you when I do a spread with metallics. But I did get the metallic markers of this brand and they do show up very well on the black ink. So I'm hoping these will too. So that's for now, along with my black pens. I just write in black. Um, I got some Papermate gel pens for the giveaway. So I have two of these that are gonna go in with my planner giveaway that I have coming up here for like back to school time soon. So put some ideas down below what you'd like to see in that giveaway, but I did grab two of these paper mates. I love when I can find a good name brand pens and office supplies or whatever at the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, now my other stores, they're starting to come out with some of their school supplies. So I may grab some things from Target, Staples, I don't know. But for now, today, we've got Paper Mate pens. I need to separate those because they will go, they will go in with that giveaway. Um, speaking of, let me see here, but it's school supplies. I saw, found these. Now, the Ticonderoga pencils are the, like, the pencil every school wants their kids to have. They're a fantastic brand. They're a great pencil. They're very expensive. This eraser pack was at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and most children need erasers. I'm assuming that their erasers are as good quality as their pencils, 
here's what the thing is. I found these at the Dollar Tree and every one of my Dollar Trees had them. I was at Staples picking up some paper the other day and they had this same package, this exact package for $3.49 at Staples. I'm telling you guys, you gotta pick these little things up when you see them. Especially if you have kids or grandkids or neighborhood kids going back to school. Like this is a great package for any little one elementary age that needs the erasers for school. Grab it while you see it, guys. This is a Ticonderoga brand for $1. I know. I'll use them with my planner. I do utilize pencil erasers. Now, my perf personal favorite is the Pentel that come in the white erasers. They are great erasers. I didn't see any at my Dollar Tree, and I haven't seen them in a while, but I did see them for about the same price point at Staples, and they are fantastic. They're white, and I think it's Pentel brand and they work great. If you like to do planning and you write in pencil first like I do, they're fantastic. That's just a little aside for you. And I usually buy those at the dollar store and you get some of these and like I think one of the rectangular erasers, but they last forever. I've got a couple packs put away. Um, speaking of the little ones, I found this this morning. Um, hello, this is name brand, this is Disney. Disney brand bath sponge. Okay, yes, it's a bath sponge. We all know what that is. But you know what? If you have little ones again, you could totally use this as a stamper. Get them some temper paint and let them stamp in it and make um, white paper and get the like the craft paper that comes on the roll in the beige color or the white that comes on the roll and they can make gift wrap. I mean, little people can go to town with a stamper. And as a Mickey Mouse, I thought that was fan deal. Let's get our thumbnail together, shall we? Got to get that ready. So yeah, name brand, awesome stocking. If you got, you know, somebody who is a Disney fan going to Disney World, you know, I've seen this a lot on, um, family vlogs and blogs that I've read about traveling. If you're going to Disney, buy all of your Disney souvenirs. If you have little ones ahead of time, get them at the Dollar Tree, get them at Walmart, wherever you find a Disney product and then bring them with you and you can give piece them out to the kids and they feel like they're getting them there and you're saving yourself a buttload of money because you know, Disney is expensive. But if you have a little one or if you're planning like a trip to Disney, this would be fun. I don't know. I just thought this was exciting to find at the Dollar Tree. And it's a great quality bath sponge, which you can also use as a bath sponge. Just saying. I found some more socks. Now, these are women's size 9 to 11, which I like. These are the Warner Brothers with Mickey Mouse on them because, duh, Mickey Mouse. Um, I don't have any scissors right here with me and I really do not want to be ruining and I got lipstick on my sock it's okay to show you what they look like so the heel is in black the toe is in black and these are no show but they are a little longer than the no show oh I love them and then they had the peanuts and these are also in size 9 to 11 which I prefer because I have a wider foot we've talked about this the heel is blue there's no difference, but it's Snoopy and he's flying and they had other ones as well. So for your adults, again, guys, these are fantastic stocking stuffers. Like these are fun, fun little some things to put in your stockings for kids, for adults. Somebody, anybody with adult size feet can wear these. Let's be honest. But yeah, I mean, for a dollar name brand, again, I'm really thinking stockings and Christmas right now. Um, because that's how I roll. I like to um, plan ahead for sure. Like I'm already planning fall decor items, but I also am a crafter. So speaking of crafts, just a little side story. I have decided that I went through all of my projects that are still in progress. They're called whips, work in progress. So things that I have started in the last year that have not been finished. And right now I'm on track to finish. I am finishing all this silliness up. I finished a baby quilt that I was working on, an Afghan, I'm sorry, crocheted Afghan. And I will have a video up dedicated strictly to all my crafting projects that I have finished once I'm done. 
I have a sweater that I was working on last year that literally all I had left to do was a half an arm and the cuffs. Like what? Why would I leave that just sitting? I don't know. So I'm actually currently finishing that. I'm getting those, I just put it on to make sure I'm getting the sleeves to the length that I want them. And then I literally have the ribbing on both arms to do. So like an inch, I think on this sleeve and then the ribbing on, and then it's done. I just need to go and tuck in all my threads. I have a couple little repairs to make where I skipped a few things or missed a stitch or something. And the underarms need to be sewn up and then I can wash it and block it. I mean, this is silliness. And then after I finish that, I have a quilt that I started last year that all I need to do is bind it. Girl, why are you leaving all this stuff laying around? I've got a hat that needs to be finished knitted on. And then I have a cross stitch project that I want to get back to that for this Christmas, but I'm waiting. That's a, I want to get these other things finished before I pull the cross stitch back out. So just a little side note, we got some crafting coming up and this is not like Dollar Tree crafting. This is, I have another channel. It's called my, it's called the Cambridge way. I should really put these videos on that channel because that's what that channel is about is my like, hand crafting, not Dollar Tree crafting. It's a little different because nobody cares about that, right? Um, okay, let's see what else I found. Oh, in the Tupperware section, this is Rubbermaid brand. These are take-alongs. And if you pack your lunch, if your kids pack their lunch, this holds about a cup and a quarter, 1.26 cups of whatever, which is a perfect portion for like a side dish or a little tiny salad if you're sending it with your your kids to school or myself i mean this is a size that i typically use and i you know they're talking about going back to lunch but these i'm back to work these are just little tag along now i am switching over for myself to glass containers but for work and stuff sometimes it's better and for storing things to have these little sized containers and you know they're rubber made brand and i I buy a fair amount of these when I am in the office every day because I do pack my lunch every day. And then when I work at my part-time job, which probably will be what these are gonna be fantastic for, I have to bring food with me if I'm gonna be at my part-time job more than like five or six hours. Um, and this is perfect for that because if they get lost or if I you know, forget them or whatever, I'm not sad. If the glass ones will get broken in that type of environment. so. I try not to use too much plastic, but I do reuse these. And I thought this was a fun size. This is a size, this is my go-to size for packing my lunch. And especially if you're packing for little people. Um, hello, Dollar Tree, what the heck? What the heck? This is Verathane gel stain. I know for a fact that this is like six, seven dollars because I buy this at the hardware store pretty regularly, different brands, different colors. This is dark walnut. It says will not drip, run, or sag, ideal for vertical surfaces. I use stain all the time when I am doing DIY projects and I love a dark stain. So for a dollar, are you kidding me? Now, I only saw this at one store. The brand is Rust-Oleum. I mean, this is 100% name brand. So if you see it and you like it, they had dark walnut, they had an oak and a pine. I don't care for the two light ones, but if they had a clear, I would be all over that, but they didn't. So I grabbed that. So this was my surprise find this week. Like what? I'm assuming they picked, they purchased some kind of an overstock or a buyout or something, but I use that on the regular. Um, I also found, and I believe these are new to my store. These are fabric roses and they are made out of burlap. Now I am getting away from the farmhouse decor in my house. I kind of redid my living room and it's more of a boho situation, but I feel like for fall, these will still work with the boho um, for sure. And I can utilize these. They did have them in different colors. They had them in pink, I think, and red and purple, but I liked the natural. And if I want to, I can always paint them a different color. So I grabbed these. To have for my crafting um not too too much left i did get some air fresheners for my car uh this is from the refresh your car 
brand is Energize Brands, Energizer. I don't know, but they work well. This is C and it has that clean scent and this is lavender. And I did, they come in a three pack. I already used one of these and it lasts like a week, if that, but for a dollar, I don't ask for too much, but I do enjoy these, especially with my, all my exercising that I've been doing. I feel like my car stinks because <laughs> I come back from a bike ride or a gym run and I'm all sweaty and nasty. So I know Pelotonia weekend is in a couple weeks. Uh, first weekend in August, I'll be riding. You'll get a video after I'm done. But, um, and that's the bike ride I do to raise money for cancer research. The link is always in the bio below or the description box if you wanna donate to my ride. I would really appreciate that. 100% of what I raise goes towards the James Cancer Hospital here in Columbus and they do research that they share worldwide on cancer and all the different varieties and forms of cancer so that's something that i'm very passionate about this is my 11th year riding and so i train i do a lot of bicycle training because it's a 50 mile bike ride that i do you can go from 20 miles to 180 i do 50 and um yeah like today this afternoon i'm gonna go ride my bike and i'm gonna come home all sweaty and stinky so after I'm done with Pelotonia and my heavy bike riding. I probably will shampoo my carpets and the seats in my car and vacuum and give it a good detail. But for now, air fresheners, and I don't know if it stinks. I just feel like it stinks because I stink when I'm done riding. I mean, my training rides are 30 miles right now. They take like three hours, if I'm being honest, two and a half to three hours of riding. So put one of these in my armpits or not. So I grabbed those. I like them. They smell fresh as a daisy. Oh, I did have some other supplies. I found these stickers for my niece, Sarah, for her classroom. She teaches high school English and I love the message and she loves the message for her classroom. Be kind people, be kind to each other. So that's the message that she has in her classroom. She's doing a lot of rainbows and a lot of be kind, um, making magic happen just you know a nice word and she one of these uh stickers for her classroom so i grabbed her those and then i got these for me it says you grow girl and i'm going to make on the back it says just let it grow and i love all the plants i'm really into plants right now so these are really big stickers i'm going to put them in my planner as just a decorative page so i'm going to do a couple probably two pages on white paper maybe black paper i don't know but i love these i love the size and i love that they're different i mean that's a big sticker you could probably use these on your walls because what i think they did is they just took their wall stickers and rebranded them as regular stickers because let's be honest we all use the wall stickers as a regular sticker. So that's cool. And I love Just Let It Grow. I love them. So I grabbed one of these for me and they had a bunch, but I grabbed one of those for me for my planner. I'm always in doing stuff with my planner guys, you know that. And that's for Sarah. I have to put it behind me because she'll be coming to, res to rescue her dog from me and take her stuff home. Um, I found, I have a couple more things. We'll do decor. I found this little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it has, it's almost like reverse hobnail. They're indented little circles. But if you look at the color for fall, it goes with, I think it's pretty close to that color, but it's going to go behind me with my plant on my coffee table. And I'll probably stick a little candle in it because I love burning candles. But I love these. They had them in all different colors. But I wanted this specific ambery, pinky, rose gold color for fall. I told you I'm getting into fall. And then I also grabbed two of this. And these are just the white frosted candle holders. Um, so I'm taking, I, I have a tall candlesticks two of them I'm going to glue them together paint them this color 
and then I will sit this, just sit it on top of the candlesticks on my mantle and probably put like a tea light in here or something. I could put some greenery in it. I could just leave it plain because it's a frosted color, but I think it'll look good on my mantle for fall. So I grabbed two of those because I'll do one on each side. And I've had these candlesticks for some time now. They were the real thick, chunky ones that came in white and black. And I'm gonna spray paint, I'm gonna glue them together to make them tall and spray paint them purple. And then I might get, if I get gold spray paint, I might get some shorter candlesticks and do those in that gold color. But I grabbed two of those because I need them for fall. This is my box of take it upstairs stuff. Cause you know, you gotta take stuff upstairs. Let's put stuff away while I'm talking to you. We have time. I know. Oh, we got to take that upstairs and this and this. Okay, look at me tidying my house while talking to you guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. This was from last week, the construction paper. I'm going to give this to um, my friend, Kristen's little niece because I went and got actual... Okay, let's stop licking my leg, please. I went and actually got planner paper in black instead of trying to use the construction paper. Can you stop, please? Thank you. I said, please and thank you. I did. Um, I found the Wet and Wild Shimmer Palette or uh, Shimmer Palette, I guess. Yeah, that's what it's called. Shimmer Palette. Just highlight. And I also found last week the, um, the Unicorn one. But this is a Shimmer Palette to reflect. So you just put it on over your makeup. So I grabbed that. Excuse me, man. Where's your bone? Where's your bone? I don't even know where your toy is. Um, and then I found some Wet n Wild lipstick, which I think will be fun for summer. We're going to see what this is all about because it's called Snow Melt Lip Powder. And I don't know what that is. Um, and I do love that um, Wet n Wild is cruelty free. Or at least that's what this says, that they are cruelty free. And I just feel like in this day and age, why, why are we having to not be cruelty free? We know what the ingredients are, right? I feel like, I don't know. Okay, so this is like a bubblegum pink and it says it's a lip powder. Yeah, it sure is powder. Um, I don't really know what you do with it, but look at that. I mean, it's powder. Oh, and then you can rub it in. You must mush it in. It's a powder to a cream. Oh, how fun is that? That's a fun color. We're gonna try this, not today because I'm wearing a darker color, but I love it. It's a lip powder, fun stuff there. And the last thing I picked up because guys, duh. It's a cat bag. And it has orange on the bottom and the handles are orange and there's cats all over it. And did I not have to have this? Of course I did. Um, what I'm loving about these bags is they're like plastic coated. And so they are a little more sturdy than like the paper ones. And I've been going through my old bags and kind of getting rid of stuff. But I love these to take places when I'm giving people things that I buy at the Dollar Tree. So this was it, and there's my boys here, and there's Alex and Wellington. All right, guys, well, that is everything I picked up this week at my Dollar Trees. I did go to three, three different Dollar Trees this week, and this is what I was able to locate. All right, well, hopefully they get back in stock soon, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye!